to show you a human brain that was turned to glass by the same eruption that buried Pompeii. So if you don't want to see that, scroll now. When Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 CE, it buried the nearby Pompeii and the slightly farther away Herculaneum, and the individual that this once brain belonged to was in the latter. So how this brain turned to glass, aka vitrified, has been a topic of debate for a little while now, and some people have even questioned whether this was a brain at all. It is, and we'll get to why, but also, you know, you can see how this would seem outlandish. The first clue for archaeologists that this was in fact a human brain is that it was found in a man's skull. Plus, a recent study just used a scanning electron microscope to look even closer at this glass and found that there were, in fact, bits of neural structures and also brain cells still preserved within the glass. As for how a human brain turned to glass, well, the conditions would have had to been just right, which is why this is the only known case of this ever happening. Basically, it has to be heated to a certain height quick enough and then cool down quick enough in order for this to happen. And we don't know what conditions in the world at this time cooled it down to make it into glass. It's a weird world and this is a human brain.